Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to finding oxidation numbers for different elements in their compounds such as cobalt, sulfur, manganese, carbon, vanadium, etc. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 2. Cobalt can form the positive ion CO NH34 Cl2 positive. What is the oxidation number of cobalt in this ion? So let's find out the oxidation state of cobalt. As we know the formula is CO NH3 4 times Cl2 and the overall charge is positive. Cobalt plus ammonia is neutral and there are 4 ammonia molecules so just 4 multiplied by 0. Chlorine is from group 7, so it has minus 1 oxidation state. There are 2 chlorine atoms, so 2 into minus 1, and the overall charge is plus 1. So cobalt plus 0 minus 2 is equal to plus 1, or you can say cobalt is equal to plus 3. So the oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3, so the answer is C. Question 1. What is the average oxidation number of sulfur in each compound? We have calcium hydrogen sulfite CaHSO3 and we have Na2S2O3. Let's find out the oxidation state of sulfur. In the first compound we have one calcium atom, two hydrogen atoms, two sulfur atoms, six oxygens and overall charge is zero. Similarly for this compound we have two sodium atoms, two sulfur atoms, three oxygen atoms and overall charge is zero. Calcium is in second group so the charge on one calcium atom will be plus two. Similarly the charge on hydrogen is plus one so for two hydrogen it will be plus two. We have to find the charge on sulfur 1 oxygen is negative 2, so 6 oxygen will be negative 12. So 2 sulfur minus 12 plus 4 will be equal to minus 8 equals 0. So 2 sulfur is equal to plus 8. The oxidation state on 1 sulfur will be plus 4. So it could be either A or B. Moving to the second one, we have 2 sodium. As sodium is plus 1, so it will become plus 2 for 2 sodium, 2 sulfur. For 1 oxygen it is negative 2, so for 3 oxygen it will be negative 6 equals 0. 2 sulfur negative 6 plus 2 equals negative 4. 2 sulfur equals plus 4 and 1 sulfur will be equal to plus 2. Therefore, answer is A. Question 1. Manganese and nitrogen can show a range of different oxidation states. Calculate the sum of the oxidation states of Mn and nitrogen in each row of the table. In which row is the sum the smallest? These are the compounds containing manganese and these are the compounds containing nitrogen. Let's first find out the oxidation state of manganese in these compounds. First one is MnCl4. Second is MnCO3. Then we have K2MnO4 and then we have MnOH3. In MnCl4 we have 1 manganese atom and 4 chlorine atoms and overall charge is 0. So as chlorine is from group 7 of the periodic table its oxidation state is negative 1. So for 4 chlorine it will be negative 4. So Mn will be equal to positive 4. So it is plus 4 in MnCl4. Second is manganese carbonate. Now we know that we have 1 manganese and 1 carbonate. Overall charge is 0. So now the charge on carbonate is negative 2. So the charge on manganese should be plus 2. So it is plus 2 in this one. Third one is K2MnO4. We have 2 potassium, 
1 mn 4 oxygen and the overall charge is 0 potassium is in group 1 of the periodic table so its oxidation state is plus 1 so for 2 potassium it will be plus 2 then we have manganese then 4 oxygen for 1 oxygen it is negative 2 so for 4 it will be negative 8 so mn minus 6 equals 0 so mn equals positive 6 in last one we have MnOH3 now we know that we have three hydroxides and overall charge is 0 the charge on one hydroxide is negative 1 so for 3 it will be negative 3 so Mn equals plus 3 so the oxidation state is plus 3 in MnOH3 second we have nitrogen as nitrogen is a molecule so the oxidation state will be 0 and then we have NO2 negative then NH4 positive and NH2OH in the first one we have one nitrogen two oxygens and overall charge is negative one so one nitrogen minus four equals minus one so nitrogen equals plus three so it is plus three in NO2 in second one we have ammonium ion one nitrogen four hydrogens and overall charge is plus one as nitrogen is more electronegative so the charge on hydrogen will be positive so it is plus four so now nitrogen will be equal to negative three similarly in the last one we have one nitrogen three hydrogen atoms one oxygen atom and overall charge is zero so nitrogen plus three minus two equals zero nitrogen plus one equals zero or nitrogen equals minus one so the oxidation state of nitrogen in the last one is minus 1. Now let's find the sum. The sum plus 4, 0 equals plus 4. Plus 2 plus 3 equals plus 5. Plus 6 minus 3 equals plus 3. Plus 3 minus 1 equals plus 2. So the least sum is in D. So therefore D is the answer. Question 6. What is the oxidation number of sulfur in each species? We have H2S, SO2 and H2SO3. Let's find the oxidation state of sulfur. Now in H2S we have two hydrogen atoms, one sulfur atom and overall charge is zero. Similarly in SO2 we have one sulfur, two oxygen and overall charge is zero. In H2SO3 we have two hydrogen atoms, one sulfur atom, three oxygen atoms and again overall charge is zero. The oxidation state of one hydrogen is plus one so for two hydrogen it will be plus two. Then we have sulfur so sulfur will be equal to minus two. So it is negative two in H2S. Similarly for oxygen atom the oxidation state is negative two so for two oxygen it will be negative 4 and sulfur will become plus 4. In H2SO3 we have two hydrogen atoms so it will become plus 2, one sulfur atom, three oxygen atoms. Sulfur negative 4 equals 0 so sulfur equals plus 4. The answer is therefore A. Question 8. Ethane dioate ion C2O4-2 reacts with suitable reagent to form CO2. A half equation for this reaction is shown. Ethane dioate converts into carbon dioxide and loses two electrons, which row is correct. First, we have to find out the oxidation state of carbon in C2O4-2. And second, we have to find the type of reaction, whether it is oxidation or reduction. Let's first find out the oxidation state of carbon in C2O4-2 and in CO2 which is the product. As we have two carbon atoms, four oxygen atoms and overall charge is negative 2. So for one oxygen the oxidation state is negative 2, for four it will be negative 8. So 2C will be equal to plus 6 or one carbon will be equal to plus 3. 
So the oxidation state of carbon is plus 3 in ethane dioate ions. So it could be A or B. Now in CO2 we have one carbon atom, two oxygen atoms and overall charge is zero. So C minus 4 equals zero or C equals plus 4. So oxidation state of carbon in product is plus 4. As we can see that there is increase in oxidation state so therefore this is oxidation. The answer is therefore A. Question 8. Ammonium metavanadate NH4VO3 can be used to make a solution containing VO2Cl which contain chloride ions. What is the change in oxidation number of vanadium in this reaction? We can find the oxidation states of vanadium in both these compounds. In first compound we have NH4VO3. In second compound we have VO2Cl. Now we know that the charge on ammonium ion is plus 1. Then we have vanadium. And on one oxygen, the oxidation state is minus 2. So for 3 oxygen, it will be equal to minus 6. Overall charge is 0. So vanadium minus 5 equals 0 or vanadium is equal to plus 5. Similarly, in this compound, we can find the oxidation state of vanadium. We have two oxygens, so it will be negative 4. One chlorine, so it will be negative 1. Overall charge is 0. Again, the oxidation state is similar, it is plus 5. So for, from plus 5 to plus 5, there is no change in oxidation number, so it is 0. Answer is therefore B. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like, subscribe, and share.